Welcome back. We're going to look at chapter 5.3. Oopsie, doopsie. 5.3 here. Okay. And this will be covered in 5.4 in the next video. So, we'll just look at equation of equilibrium. Yeah. So, at the end of the day, you should be able to actually apply the equation of equilibrium and to solve for the unknowns. Yeah. So, uh, let's look at uh, okay. the applications. It's almost everywhere. You're given a real diagram. You need to create the idealized model. And from there, you draw the free body diagram. Yeah. And from the free body diagram, you can actually solve for the uh, unknowns. So, equation equilibrium, the summation of force X, summation of force Y, and the moment will be zero. Yeah. So, it's net force. Yeah. So, which means force X, force X A is a value. Force X B is a value. Yeah. The forces are not zero. But you sum up all the forces, it will be zero. That's why it said, uh, it said that net force is zero. Okay. So, I'm just going to show you an example. I'm going to solve an example for you. Yeah. This is how the sample will be. Uh, I'm taking it from the textbook, uh, not the lecture note as usual. I picked up a question which is a bit uh, tough for you to understand. So, let's look at this question here. Determine the horizontal and vertical components of the reaction on the beam caused by the pin. Look at that. This is a pin. And there is a rocker at the end here. Remember what I taught you in the last slide? You need to memorize. You need to uh, use the table for the reference, right? So, they are actually telling you to determine the horizontal and vertical component of forces. Okay? So, first step, drawing the free body diagram. This is a free body diagram. You are not in arts class. Just draw a straight line. Show all the, expo uh, show all the forces that's... Uh, given to you that's it simple yeah so do not forget the original forces 100 100 copy 600 can be resolved into x-axis and y-axis copy 200 copy okay now what is totally new here which is not in the original diagram will be here this is a rocker rocker will have one unknown can you see that it's one unknown. You need to know that, yeah? You need to memorize the table. Only then you can solve this. And this is a pin. So, what's a pin? B, Y, N, B, X. Yeah? So, two unknowns for a pin. So, you need to draw that. So, once you have done that, so, it's very simple. You just need to add up all the X's and add up all the Y's and solve this. Okay? Okay, let's look at the working here. So, first, we can do F, X. Okay, so what do you do with fx? We have got how many forces? I'm going to highlight the forces in x direction. We have one here and we have one here. Okay, settle. So there's only two forces. 600 cos 45 minus bx. Now why is minus? Because it's pointing this side, yeah? On the negative side of the x. Where do you refer it? This is very important. Very, very important to show where which direction is positive. It has It carries marks. So now you solve for your bx. Okay, that's settled. Okay, now let's look at this uh, example in this textbook. They have straight away gone to moment of B. Why are they doing moment of B instead of just writing there Fy equals to 0? Now let's just solve Fy first. Okay, why is the textbook after they solve Fx, they're jumping to moment at B. They didn't solve for Fy. Okay. I'm going to show you an example where I'm going to solve for uh, Fy first and see how we're going to get stuck. Yeah, we're going to get stuck. That's the reason why we don't do Fy first. Yeah, so in this question, we don't do Fy. But of course, there are some questions. If you have enough value, you please proceed with your solving your Fy. Okay, look here. Ay and then we have 100 and then we have By and then we have 200. And then we have 600 sine 45. So how many unknowns do we have here? We have two unknowns. Yeah, this two is two unknowns. So if we write an equation which is using Fy, can we solve it? We still can't solve it, right? So that is the reason why the textbook have used moment. Now why uniquely they have chosen moment? Because the moment you take moment at point B, okay, just imagine you are putting a, a dot, you are putting a pin here, point B. You are taking moment at point B. So what? 100 
multiply to settle clockwise anticlockwise it's going anticlockwise so it's positive and then we have 600 sine 45 600 sine 45 with a distance of 5 also clock anticlockwise so it's positive next we have a y a y which is at the distance of 7 yeah negative okay so one is down one is down uh one is down okay can we write 200 yes of course you can write 200 200 distance of zero because it's on point b yeah you can write but it doesn't carry any meaning and then we have b y b y is at point zero uh, at, at point b so distance is zero so also so 200 and b y is not being able to be written or calculated because simply because the distance is actually zero okay so what's left here ah look at these careful we have 600 cos 45 eh, at a distance of uh, 0 0.2 can you see this little thing here i'm going to erase everything okay if you see okay i'm going to enlarge this no let me try to enlarge this okay let's see mm -mm, it doesn't work okay uh -uh, it doesn't work okay anyway can you see the little small thing that's here okay that shows that this 600 cos 45 is at a distance of 0 0.2 from point b so point b is down below okay so which means 600 cos 45 multiply uh, to 0 0.2 and why is it negative because it's going clockwise okay so with this yeah with all this that you have done so what do you get you can actually solve for the uh you can actually solve you can actually solve the yeah for some reason the eraser is uh, not working but anyway you can solve for your ay so from your ay can you fit into your fy yes you can yeah because now you have only one unknown which is py you have your ay you have this you have this you have this yeah you can solve for your by so that's how this thing is being solved okay so i hope it's clear Mm, and uh, I'm going to end this video and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah. Any question, meet me during the consultation hours and you can ask me. Yeah. Whatever that you are unclear with. Thank you.